strap on your super sweet wizard hat and comb the cobwebs out of your beards. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 wizards in video games. To make it on this list, characters can be mages, sorcerers, wizards, and whatever else as long as it's a dude or dudette wielding magic. Also, the entries must be actual characters, rather than just a wizard class that you can pick. But I'd love to hear what you have to say. Is that so? Very well then, listen. Witches will not be featured as they're on a list for another day. I demand an apology for this outrage. Number 10, Aghanim, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Not facing Ganon yet again must have been a nice treat for Link. Aghanim is the main antagonist from A Link to the Past, but not unlike Ganon, he's also after the Triforce in order to gain unlimited power. He captures Zelda and is soon hunted down by Link, only to find out, spoiler alert, that Aghanim is just Ganon but with a different costume. He's a powerful magician that uses the dark arts to manipulate and control others. He can also fire off blasts of energy and lightning as offensive magic, and can create clones of himself to confuse Link. To make matters worse, if his body is hit directly with the Master Sword, Link gets a violent electrical shock. Number 9, Medivh, Warcraft series. What is the meaning of this? Okay, so he's done some bad things, but if you've ever enjoyed anything Warcraft related, then you've basically got Medivh to thank. I am grateful for your aid, champions. You see, he was once possessed by a demon lord, hardly his fault, who then used him to help open the dark portal and essentially kick off all the fun festivities that Warcraft is famous for. While he was slain during the first great war, he returns as a mysterious prophet to guide the forces of good during the third. Apparently he learned his lesson. Death will do that to a guy, I guess. Listen to me, boy. This land is lost. The shadow has already fallen, and nothing you do will deter it. Number eight, Vivi. Final Fantasy IX. Maybe one of the most recognizable Final Fantasy characters, Vivi is a little black mage with big yellow eyes and a floppy wizard's hat. He was created along with many others of his kind as a weapon for war, but when he falls out of a cargo ship, he is found and raised by an old man. When his caretaker dies, Vivi strikes out on his own and befriends the game's heroes. As the game progresses, he shows himself to be a very capable magician with awesomely powerful abilities. Number 7, Donald Duck, Kingdom Hearts series. Sneaking onto this list with his magical staff, this classic Disney character uses powerful supernatural abilities and a decidedly serious speech impediment to fight off his enemies. In the world of Kingdom Hearts, Donald Duck is the magician of Disney Castle and the second-hand man to King Mickey. When the events of the game pair him with protagonist Sora, Donald uses his abilities as a sorcerer to aid the player, firing off powerful spells as well as providing backup as a healer. Despite his bursts of anger, Donald is a capable ally and a friendly companion. If we stick together, we're unbeatable. Not even Hercules stands a chance. With these guys beside me, I'm ready for anything. Number six, Yennefer of Vengerberg, The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. You decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests, especially dull ones. There are no shortage of magic wielders in the Witcher franchise, and while we are all for the powerful and beautiful Triss Marigold, our pick ultimately went to the one who stole the heart of the Witcher himself, Geralt of Rivia. So it's to be dull jokes after all. Rather have a serious conversation? We can do that if you prefer. Yennefer is exceptionally talented in her craft, evidenced by the fact that she is the youngest member of the Council of Sorceresses. She's definitely not one to be messed with, unless you want to find yourself flung through a portal. And I've lost my patience! She tamed the white wolf, took on the wild hunt, and looked damn good while doing it. What more could you ask for? Half of Rhine suffered then, 
Now I'm merely a bit tired. Number five, Father Balder, Bayonetta series. The last known surviving member of the Lumen Sages, Balder, the father of Bayonetta, is extremely powerful both magically and financially. We can create our world with our own eyes. Being over 600 years old, Balder is the founder and CEO of the Ithaval Group, a conglomerate so successful their headquarters is a whole city on a man-made island. If this wasn't extreme enough, he's able to use powerful energy blasts, telekinesis, and can even freeze time. This is all thanks to his possession of one of the eyes of the world, treasures that are able to summon the god of creation. Unless both eyes remain, the universe will lose its balance and face another Armageddon. Yet, Balder is in control of his own destiny, as he was corrupted by absorbing the soul of the evil spirit Lopter, which he did in order to save his daughter and the world. What's wrong can be made right through human hands! <sighs> Number 4, Kamek the Magikoopa, Super Mario series. The Mario brothers have faced crazy mushrooms, walking time bombs, and a giant turtle dragon in their journeys to save Princess Peach, but one villain is more nefarious than them all. Kamek the Magikoopa made his magical debut in Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, where he swoops in on his broom every now and then to cause some real trouble for Mario. From bringing Bowser back to life in giant form to generally just being a nuisance, Kamek has reappeared throughout the Mario series to aid villains with his magical powers. Number 3, Emil, Nier. Your eyes are not a sin. Don't ever be ashamed of them. When we first meet this character, he appears little more than a fragile child. But under his blindfold lies the power to turn anything he sees into stone. I'm sorry. It's my eyes. Anything I look at gets turned to stone. At the revelation of his true identity, weapon number seven, Emil's character takes a dramatic turn. You still recognize me? However, with his newfound powers also comes the crippling shame of his hideous appearance. It's only through his friendship with Kaine and the protagonist that he's able to overcome it and prove himself as a useful ally. You look just like I thought you would. <laughs> Nevertheless, Emil maintains his level-headedness and childlike spirit to keep the team together despite their adversities. I have the magic I wanted, and I can use it to bring Kaine back to life. Emil. We should hurry. She's waiting. Number two, John Arenicus. Bowder's Gate 2, Shadows of Om. It is time for more experiments. This disgraced elf is the main antagonist from the second title in the Baldur's Gate series. Like all evil magicians, he wears a ridiculous costume and comes in every now and then to taunt the protagonist. You live, you affect your world. He was kicked out of the super secret elf club for being too power hungry. And after having not learned his lesson, he kept hungering for more power. You won't have to think about any of this or that. Your life ends today. He did eventually become an extremely powerful sorcerer, and also gained the ability to instantly kill multiple targets. Understand this as you die, ever pathetic, ever fools. On top of all that, like a lot of evil magicians, he's into stealing people's souls and haunting the protagonist's dreams. Typical. You have less than a fraction of your soul, and yet somehow you continue to oppose me? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I'm old and empty-handed, but I could repay you with knowledge and sorcery. Oh, so this is your idea of amusement, Mora. Number one, Shang Tsung, Mortal Kombat. Combatants, I am Shang Tsung. Ever since his introduction as the main nemesis in the original Mortal Kombat game, Shang Tsung has been scheming behind the scenes to steal people's souls. Shang Tsung wins. In order to keep his youthful good looks, Shang Tsung sucks the life essence out of fighters he defeats. He uses a blend of supernatural abilities and combat mastery to crush those who stand in his way. Shang Tsung is most commonly seen using fire as his element of choice, 
but most players will know him best for his ability to shapeshift into any other fighter, making his versatility entirely unmatched. No. No. Do you agree with our list? Why not, if that is what you dream of? Who are your favorite wizards from video games? For more magical top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. This place is melting my mind. The inactivity is repressive.